Thank you for coming here. Our first speaker is Guo Hua Mi from China Agricultural University. <coughs> He's going to give us a talk about nitrogen use efficiency. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm glad to be here and Thanks to the organizer to give me the opportunity to introduce my work on uh, root plasticity uh, in relation to nitrogen use efficiency in maize. <coughs> we all know that fertilizer input is a uh, big cost for farmers, and that though it's very important, but it can be really uh, costive. And uh, fertilizer input can, be, can cost a lot of uh, uh, energy and also may uh, bring some problem in the context of environmental pollution. So uh, we have to control for uh, input to increase its efficiency and in re re reduce the environmental pollution uh, possible uh, importantly. And also for farmers, you know, the pr price is very important uh, for, them, for their income. So I, I got some uh, data here to show you that the actually the for maize production, uh, the price in recent years has been very, very low. So farmers, so farmers like to uh, to reduce some input and to try to inc uh, to get more, more profit. And uh, but uh, the uh, price input is one of the most uh, uh, important or <coughs> biggest uh, uh, input. So we think we should for farmers they like to get the more uh, yield with less price input. So that means we have to uh, increase nitrogen use efficiency uh, in maize. Uh, so there are two ways, in, uh, uh, principally. One is by uh, increasing, uh, uh, by improvement of nutrient management. And the second is to use nitrogen efficient genotypes. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about how to uh, uh, utilize uh, nitrogen use efficiency in crop can, can be uh, determined by two uh, factors. One is uh, efficient nitrogen uh, application, and the other one is efficient nitrogen use within the plants. So but today, I want to talk about how to increase nitrogen use efficiency uh, by utilizing the, uh, uh, the efficient root systems. First, we would like to see how uh, maize plant uh, re uh, responds to nitrogen supply. So here is a simple experiment with different nitrogen input from the very low to very high nitrogen concentration. Uh, so that's the maize. We can see the uh, shoot growth response and the root growth response. So in this region, when the shoot, uh, shoot biomass is uh, constant, I mean, on the, on the maximum, we, s we see this, 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 this uh, phase, it is the uh, optimum uh, nitrogen uh, uh, region for, for, for maize growth. But even if in this region, uh, actually, uh, there's a, a, a certain, uh, a certain um, range of nitrogen uh, input. So with the re reduction of nitrogen input, this, uh, the shoot uh, growth put, uh, do not, uh, do not, uh, does not change. So these regions, for agricultural, uh, for, for agronomic practice, is a uh, region for optimized nitrogen input to, to increase nitrogen efficiency. And with further decrease of <coughs> nitrogen input, the uh, shoot growth, uh, shoot uh, mammoth will e decrease. Then the root growth will still keep, keep increase for to try to, uh, uh, try to uh, um, take up more nitrogen from the medium. And now, and then, if the nitrogen input is very, very low, then the shoot growth and, bo and root growth both uh, decrease. So th in this uh, region, actually, it means the ecological adaptation. For example, in many uh, plants growing in very poor soils, the shoot growth and the root growth both are very, 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 very small. So we think that especially for, uh, for the, this two, in the second and the third uh, phase, uh, important strategy for, for maize plant to, to adapt to the natural input is increasing root growth and also the uh, root to shoot ratio. So for root morphology, we can see uh, there for maize root system yesterday uh, and uh, uh, there have been many good uh, 
uh, uh, very good uh, presentation to show the, how the uh, maze uh, root architecture likes. But principally, the, uh, uh, including uh, embryonic root system and also post embryonic system. <coughs> but part for both the time, they, ha they are organized, uh, consist of little roots and also uh, actual roots. So for later root growth, here you can see uh, with the uh, decrease, decrease days of uh, nitrogen's, uh, uh, nitrogen treatment, you can see at the, short, at the short time, usually in our uh, experimental system, about six days after low nitrogen, low nitrogen uh, uh, treatment, we can find uh, increase. We can find increase of little roots in uh, uh, little roots growth. But then, with the lasting uh, low nitrogen stress, we can see then the little roots growth will be uh, suppressed actually. So we can see in many, many different uh, uh, references. You can see sometimes you find the increase of lateral growth, but sometimes you find the decrease <coughs> of lateral growth. That depends on the uh, severity of the low nitrogen stress. However, if you look at the growth of the axial roots, the axial direction, you will always find that the increase of the, uh, like, uh, the root, uh, root length. So the, uh, either in short term or in long term. So Root elongation is a very important uh, adaptation, adaptive strategy for maize plant to uh, to get to find more nitrogen resource in in in, in the medium. It's very especially soil uh, in soil conditions because the longer uh, axial root can expanding the uh, uh, so the root uh, uh, root uh, uh, occupying the soil soil space for for root occupa occupation. And also, actually, uh, um, in addition to the root, uh, lateral root and the uh, uh, axial root growth, within the roots, we can, for the anatomic structure, there are also some, uh, some change. That means uh, at the low nitrogen, low nitrogen stress conditions, the root usually becomes th uh, thinner, uh, thinner, and also the, uh, there are more, there are more, uh, more uh, now, oh, sorry. So this is more of the uh, cortic cell will, uh, will 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 die, and so the more uh, the uh, air air uh, acro acroma. Sorry, sorry, I don't know the words. Yeah, for form, form. Sorry, sorry. I'm a little bit sleepy, maybe. <laughs> okay, but uh, uh, we also done some work on the uh, uh, finding literature to try to summarize how root elongation. Uh, how root is uh, uh, length increased under low nitrogen stress? Well, uh, basically, we find that under low nitrogen stress, the, the uh, leaf nitrogen con uh, standards will uh, is become uh, uh, as uh, expressed as nitrogen concentration decrease in much. It may be a, a signal. It may uh, may uh, may have maybe a s original signal to to. Uh, uh, to let to um, lead to more oxygen transport from the root to the roots, so that in the root epitics, there uh, there's the more the increase of oxygen may increase uh, NO in, uh, NO production, uh, NO the next can increase circular tons in, uh, production. This uh, uh, chemicals can increase cell division, and also more uh, more oxygen may increase the cell elongation through the uh, uh, acid. Growth theory, and that both cell division and cell elongation uh, can contribute to the increase of the root elongation. And uh, uh, the local lo uh, nitrate, even though it, the, the, uh, if the concentration is very low, then this no uh, this no nitrate can increase the NO production through the uh, nitrate reductase pathway. But if the li local nitrate is very, very high, I mean, if you increase nitrate supply gradually, if it's too high, it may. Uh, uh, Leading in more, much more high, much higher cytokine production, which can have some uh, negative effect on, uh, uh, upon nitrogen oxy. So, uh, so the root elongation may may be may be re re reduced. Also, the high nitrate concentration may lead to higher ABA uh, accumulation in the root, which also uh, uh, surprise cell elongation <coughs> and lead to a lower root elongation rate. So, in this, so that's uh, uh, it's uh, up to now the. From literature, we can we can summarize such a, a model to explain why, and the low nitrogen supply root elongation will be increased, and with increasing uh, nitrogen supply in the soil, 
the uh, root location may be uh, surprised. This is uh, this work made those about the bottom later uh, take a uh, get a uh, god mostly in the uh, uh, solution colors system or in artificial system. But how about the root growth uh, response in the true soil in the field conditions? This is a problem because in soil conditions, root growth in this uh, uh, will not only uh, influenced by nutrients itself, nitrogen itself, but also from a lot of uh, influenced by many uh, soil chemical and uh, phys physical uh, conditions. For example, temperature, temperature, oxygen, uh, hardness, and the moisture, <laughs> gravity, everything there. So in this case. Uh, it's difficult to, to, to make a certain conclusion about uh, how root uh, morphology responds to nitrogen itself. But anyway, we tried, we do some years uh, experiment in the field. We want to see if what's the relationship between nitrogen uh, rate and, uh, and also the uh, 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 root growth in, in soil conditions. We uh, did several years experiment with three soils. Generally, you can find uh, some like uh, uh, some some uh, um, correlation between uh, nitrogen input and uh, total root length, but this co correlation very very low. Uh, the the, the uh, uh, you see this uh, uh, <coughs> determination co uh, coefficient very very low, but generally there are the root growth will will be uh, optimal at about uh, nitrous when nitrogen input is uh, uh, sometime optimum. Uh, high nitrogen uh, also a little bit, high, they will have a, uh, a negative effect on root growth. And also if the nitrogen supply very low, root growth also inhibited. But anyway, uh, we still find if we uh, divide, uh, if we consider uh, root growth, uh, the correlation between root growth and also the, the yield and the uh, green yield and the uh, 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 dry matter accumulation, we will find that at, at the low nitrogen uh, supply, for example, 0, 168, and 240, at this, relatively optimum and the lower nitrogen uh, supply, we can find uh, some uh, positive correlation between uh, root growth and uh, green yield. That means when nitrogen supply is not so high, uh, a, better, a, a bigger crop uh, roots, uh, a bigger, a larger root system is, is uh, imp uh, is necessary for, for getting a higher yield. But if nitrogen input is very high, root growth may be, uh, there's no, no correlation between them. That means root growth is no, no use for, for this kind. Uh, it's not a limiting factor for, for, for crop yield. So uh, one, one way is uh, to, to, so we think that use a genotype with, with a bigger uh, root, uh, root size, root size can increase nitrogen species when, nitro when nitrogen supply is lower. So uh, we, we selected <coughs> many, many uh, hybrids first. We look at the difference. Here we find some, the inefficient hybrids usually had the, uh, the root growth poor, especially on the low nitrogen supply, their response is not so significant. But with the efficient nitrogen, uh, nitrogen efficient hybrids for this, these two, you can see on the low nitrogen supply, they are the, the later root growth is increased. The, I can see the very thick, thick uh, later roots. So the, the, the response is much, much, much higher compared to these inefficient ones. So in the field, if we compare the nitrogen uptake, uh, so well, for example, this uh, the inefficient one, the, the, the control, so these both are, uh, are, are efficient. So for this one, they have, uh, have higher uh, pre silking uh, uh, after silking has, uh, uptake. For this efficient one, it have pre uh, silking nitrogen uptake. Anyway, in both of them, the, the total nitrogen uptake <coughs> is higher than the inefficient one. So that uh, makes this, these two get higher, higher, higher green yield. <coughs> But with the uh, uh, impress uh, with the prog pro progress of the maize, modern maize breeding, there is something uh, wrong with the roots, uh, not favorable for the root wood uh, improvement. Here, we, we, in our uh, experiment in the field, we in two years field, we compared the hybrids released in different years in China uh, during the past about 30 years. 30 years. So we can see uh, at, the in, at the high nitrogen input, the yield increase is very, very uh, significant, uh, very uh, sharp, this, the, the, the line very sharp. But uh, at the low nitrogen stress, although the yield increase is also, the uh, green yield also increased with the breeding uh, progress, 
but this increase is uh, not as, as sharp as the at a high nitrogen uh, supply. That means the improvement of the uh, uh, green yield uh, under low nitrogen is not much uh, improved. The, but the reason, one of the reasons may be that the root system is not uh, uh, not improved. I even become, from our government, the root side becomes even smaller compared to the, the, in, the, in the modern uh, hybrids compared with the old uh, hybrids. So this too is a, a typical uh, uh, picture you can see. For all the varieties, the, the root system are very big, but the new ones, the, the root system are smaller, especially for many of the uh, new, new varieties, there are not much uh, the, uh, breast roots. Uh, yeah. So also, also even in the modern, in modern uh, um, variety, we hope to still see the difference between the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the different uh, cultivars. The, the cultivar with a la larger root system, we can find if they can get a higher yield at low, nit low nitrogen supply, but not at the high nitrogen supply. So this is the picture in the field. That means larger roots is really important for uh, for major improvement in in for the mod in the modern uh, uh, for for the modern uh, maize uh, uh, germplasm. So for for improve of this uh, maize maize hybrid we use, so we have to select select the gene plasm. Uh, children plus from the uh, inbred lines. So we, we select many uh, inbred lines uh, in the field. We find the two inbred lines. One is for uh, four seven eight, one W one three one two one two. So this have uh, have a very good uh, response to uh, their root growth has very response to low nitrogen stress. But for this one, the response is almost zero. So with this also their this their root side their uh, the root to shoot ratio also response as uh, different. This 478 has high uh, has uh, a greater response to low nitrogen low nitrogen uh, stress. So you see, this is the, the field. Their response, their growth, the the, the wheat, the the uh, root, uh, the root uh, growth in response to low nitrogen stress. Also, we can see here the efficient one has <coughs> very good uh, root system under low nitrogen stress. So we use it to uh, uh, improvise to make a uh, uh, con to create uh, two, two populations. One is the linkage population, one is the background population. So with this genetic population, we, we are able to, that's the root difference, we can have a look. So the, this is the parents, and uh, this is the, uh, the uh, uh, recombinant uh, embryo lines. The roots are changed a lot, a very, very uh, with big variation. So with this, uh, how it lies, yeah, we, we uh, Identified many many QTLs, which uh, including the uh, uh, root growth and also uh, yield. Especially there's many of them, but especially uh, the two locus uh, loci, loci in the chromosome one, chromosome two. It's very important. Uh, again, we have big contribution to root growth. So with these two, we find the uh, uh, line at uh, one two one three. We we uh, cross the it's line. This is like covering both uh, locus, lo loci, and we, and we make a test cross with this line with the, with the, with the another uh, test of the red line 178. So we can, we, in three years, we compare the, uh, the uh, root growth and uh, natural attack and the uh, green yield with the, the control, the, the, the recurrent, recurrent uh, uh, Paris 3, 1, 2. So on average, we can see an increase of root density by 30%, and also, also positive nitrogen uptake by 27%, and yield by, by uh, 17%. So in summary, uh, we think uh, maize roots show great plasticity in response to nitrogen supply, and the response of root growth to nitrogen supply is affected by complex soil character and field conditions. And breeding genotypes with large root system help to increase green yield and low nitrogen supply. And so I would like to thank my students for this work. Thank you very much. We have time for a 15-second question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>